hello guys welcome back again to the channel today we are going to be checking out 12 shocking facts about germany that you've never heard before basically that i've never heard before so i'm super curious and excited to be doing this one with you guys germany a nexus of innovation and tradition in the heart of europe is home to a tapestry of captivating secrets today join us as we unravel 12 shocking facts that will undoubtedly broaden 12. your understanding of this European powerhouse. Okay. From unconventional customs to astonishing technological feats, this exploration will guide you through the lesser known facets of Germany, offering a fresh perspective that goes beyond the ordinary. So let's delve into the enigmatic world of Germany and discover a side you've never encountered before. Oh, wow. Germany, officially known as the Federal Republic of Germany, Columbia. is situated in the Western part of Central Europe it's the second most populous country in Europe, wow. right after Russia, and holds the title of the most populous wide. member state of the European Union. Oh, Geographically, it. Germany is like a patchwork quilt, bordered by Denmark to the north, Poland and the Czech Republic to the east, Austria and Switzerland to the south, and France, Luxembourg, Belgium and the Netherlands to the west. It's like being at the crossroads of cultures, and that diversity is part of what makes Germany so fascinating. Let's rewind the clock a bit. Various Germanic tribes have called Germany home since ancient times. The region, known as Germania, Germania. dates back to before AD 100. Fast forward to 962, and we see the formation of the Kingdom of Germany, a major player in the Holy Roman Empire. The 16th century brought about a significant change. Northern German regions became the heart of the Protestant Reformation, after the Napoleonic Wars and the end of the Holy Roman Empire yeah. in 1806, the German Confederation was born in 1815, setting the stage for the formal unification of Germany. Oh, wow. Then, on August 18, 1866, the North German Confederation Treaty was signed, laying the groundwork for the birth of the German Empire in 1871. However, the road to modern Germany wasn't without its twists and turns, including the turbulent times of World War I, the German Revolution, and the rise of the Nazi regime. After World War II, Germany found itself divided into two separate entities, West Germany, officially the Federal Republic of Germany, and East Germany, the German Democratic Republic. The Berlin Wall stood as a symbolic division until the reunification on October 3rd, 1990 bringing the nation back together. Today, Germany stands tall as a global powerhouse. With the largest economy in Europe and the world's third largest by nominal GDP, hmm. Germany is a force to be reckoned with. Yeah, actually. It's a leader in industrial, scientific, and technological sectors, boasting the third greatest number of UNESCO World Heritage Sites. But it's not all about industry and history. To be very honest, right? Most countries that went through um, World War II, and um, most countries that did not, I feel like Germany was actually a leading and fast-growing country because it actually experienced the blast and every other country. But some countries that they even go through what half of what they, the whole city or the whole country has been been through does not even look as good as this is. It actually says a lot about their economy and about them as a person too. Why is this headphone falling off my hair? I feel like my ears are growing smaller by the day. History. Germany is a developed country that cares for its citizens. Lots. It offers social security, a universal healthcare system, and even tuition free university education. No wonder it's a member of prestigious international organizations like the United Nations, European Union, mm. NATO, and more. Wow. Number one. The legal drinking age is 60. <laughs> we all know that for. different countries have different rules when it comes to alcohol, yeah, but Germany takes rules. things to a whole new level. In Germany, you can start sipping on undistilled alcoholic beverages, like wine and beer when you're just 16 years old. That's a five-year gap compared to the United States. I bet some of you are already raising an eyebrow. <laughs> so what's the deal? Well, the German law allows teenagers, starting from the age of 16, to enjoy the lighter side of alcohol, you know, the good old wine and beer, without needing their parents by their side. But do it, they actually go to, okay, is there like a um, ID or something you have to show when you want to buy the beer? Because some people can actually pretend to be more than 16, and by the way, they look like they are more than 16 <laughs> years of age. So they can actually pretend and get the, you know, the hard one, because they said they want the diluted one. 
undiluted one, yeah. They can actually pretend to get the undiluted one, you guys. Like a rite of passage into the world of responsible drinking. When it comes to distilled spirits, the game changes. Germans, young and eager, still have to exercise patience and wait until they hit the big one. That's 18 for those keeping track at home. So, while you can enjoy that frothy beer at 16, the stronger stuff will have to wait until you're officially an adult. It's like a boozy countdown to freedom. Oh, wow. Number two, 1,000 different types yeah, of sausages. That's crazy. When you think of Germany, the first thing that probably oh, comes to mind is their that. delicious 1, 000, sausages. Not 500. But did you know that the variety is so vast that it surpasses the imagination? It's so Over funny because the only, should I be saying this here? Okay, yeah, they're my family. So the only sausage I've ever had is chicken sausage and beef sausage. Anything other than that, I've never tried it. And seeing there are like over 1,000 sausage in Germany, you guys have been missing a lot. I'm still missing a lot. <laughs> wow. 1,000 different types of sausages. Wow. Each one is a unique flavor experience waiting to be explored. <laughs> I'm Let's start with the heavy hitters, <laughs> the bossing. sausages that have made a name for themselves on the global stage. We've got the classics like Bratwurst, Weisswurst, Frankfurter, Knackwurst, and Teewurst. Oh, wow. These aren't just names, they are a journey into a world of savory delights. Ah. Each variety has its own distinct characteristics, and the secret lies in watching. the blend of spices used to flavor them. Here's a pro tip for anyone planning to visit I Germany. Imagine. Don't just stop at the classics. Explore the local markets, butcher shops, and street vendors to discover regional specialties. From Nuremberger Rostbratwurst to Currywurst, the options are endless. Trust me, your taste buds will thank you for the culinary adventure. Well, recently, I, um, I don't really take sausages like that, like before, because I saw something online. Sausages has um, these carcinogens um material in it yeah so i kind of reduced my intake of sausage but you guys this is tempting number three highest smartphone usage in the world according to a 2020 analysis by newzu germany stands out as the leader when it comes to smartphone adoption oh, wow. Out of the 83.9 million people in the country, a whopping 67.14 million are smartphone users, giving Germany an impressive smartphone penetration rate of 80%. Oh, wow. Just to put that into perspective, let's compare it to other major players in the smartphone game. The United States boasts a smartphone penetration rate of 72.1%, and over in China, it's 59.9%. Germany is outpacing them both, making it a true mobile first nation. So, what's driving this smartphone revolution in Germany? Well, it turns out that most locals are tapping into the digital world through popular carriers like Telekom, Vodafone, or O2. These giants dominate the German mobile landscape, wow. providing reliable services to millions. Vodafone. Number four, that was numerous that unexploded bombs show. in Germany. World War II had a profound impact on many countries, and Germany was no exception. Even decades after the war, remnants still pose a threat. And one surprising fact is that more than 2,000 tons of unexploded bombs are discovered in Germany each year. That's like having a ticking time bomb beneath your feet. So why are these unexploded bombs still causing a buzz in Germany? Well, it turns out that before any construction project kicks off, whether it's a new building or a road, experts have to play bomb detectives. Before a single shovel hits the ground, experts meticulously scan the area, making sure it's bomb-free. Imagine having to check every inch of land before building a house. Hmm. It's like playing real-life Minesweeper. <laughs> the German government takes this matter seriously. Yeah. They have dedicated units specifically trained for bomb disposal. These experts work tirelessly to neutralize the threats and keep the public safe. It's a challenging job, but someone's gotta do it. Number five, prison escape is not illegal in the country. You might have heard of some unusual laws around the world, but Germany takes it to a whole new level. Picture this. What if I told you that in Germany, escaping from prison is not actually illegal? What? The land of sausages, beer, and efficiency has a surprising <laughs> philosophy when it comes to prison break. Oh my god! <laughs> the land of sausages and extreme expensive, what did they say, beer? That was, no, 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 <laughs> that was funny. They have so much um, beer, a thousand plus um, variety of, um, you know, sausage, and I imagine it together in line of, that's funny. But you guys, breaking out of this prison, I trust 
if they can get you they would uh, actually take you back to yourself but if you can successfully break out you are free wow they're actually saying hard work pay like hard work pay when it comes to that unlike most countries germany doesn't slap you with extra charges just for trying to make a run for it why on earth would they allow something like that well it's all rooted in a rather fascinating philosophy in germany the powers that be consider the desire for freedom and escape to be a basic human instinct. So, when someone tries to break free, they aren't automatically hit with charges for attempting an escape. Number 6. Tallest Church in the World Meet the Ulmminster, standing proud at a staggering 161.5 meters or 530 feet tall. That's right, folks, 530 feet of architectural oh brilliance. Goodness. This masterpiece was intentionally designed to surpass the Cologne Cathedral, which itself is no slouch at 157.4 meters oh or 516.4 feet. Why build it so tall, you ask? It turns out that this was a bit of friendly competition. The folks behind the Ulm Minster wanted to outdo the Cologne Cathedral by a couple of meters. It's like a historic game of architectural one-upmanship. Mm. Imagine the dedication and skill it yeah. took to achieve such heights back so in the day. But it's not just about the height. The Ulmminster is a marvel of Gothic architecture. As you step inside, you're greeted by awe-inspiring stained glass windows, intricate sculptures, and a sense of grandeur that truly stands the test of time. What? It's not just a church. It's a living testament to the craftsmanship of its builders. Number 7. Germany is home to 25,000 castles. Oh, wow. If you're someone who loves the allure of towering turrets, ancient walls, and the echoes of history, Germany is your dream destination. My dream destination. Our castle journey begins in the Thuringian Forest, a region that offers a unique twist to your castle hunting adventure. But what sets Germany apart is the famous Wartburg Castle oh, in my. Eisenach. Not only is it one of the most renowned castles in the country, but it also holds a special place in history. It's where Martin Luther translated the New Testament into German for the first time. Talk about a castle wow. with a story to tell. The Swabian Alb in southwest Germany, oh my, a region this is beautiful. where nature I love and history the collide. Nature stuff. The landscape is adorned with spectacular fortresses, yeah. creating a scene straight out of a fairy tale. Oh. The crown jewel of Kasselspotten <laughs> has to be the Middle Rhine Valley in the west of Germany. Because within a mere 60 kilometers between Bingen and Koblenz, you'll find an incredible stretch of 40 well-preserved castles. It's like a castle paradise. Wow. The Upper Middle Rhine Valley achieved UNESCO World Heritage status in June 2002, becoming the first German cultural landscape to receive this prestigious honor. Yeah. Now, you might be wondering, how do we know there are 25,000 castles Actually, in I was thinking of that too. Well, it's a bit tricky since there are no official statistics on this. But based on estimates, that's the jaw-dropping number we're looking at. So, you can imagine the sheer variety and history waiting to be explored. Number 8. Largest car producing countries in the world. Mm. When it comes to cars, Germany is an absolute heavyweight. Just think about it. Audi, BMW, Mercedes-Benz, and Volkswagen. Wow. These names are practically synonymous with precision Perfect engineering everywhere. and automotive excellence. But did you know that these German manufacturers collectively churn out over 11 million cars every single year? What makes it even more impressive is that a whopping 6 million of those cars are actually produced right here in Germany itself. Yes, you heard that right. Germany is a car production powerhouse, cranking out millions of vehicles with the precision and efficiency that they're so renowned for. German cars are not just about speed and sleek designs, they're also about trust. The reliability and robust construction oh of German cars are downright notorious, and it's this reputation that makes them a favorite among drivers worldwide. You've probably heard the saying, Germans don't play when it comes to cars. And it's true. German car manufacturers are at the forefront of technological advancements, from electric vehicles to autonomous driving. They're not just keeping up with the times, they're setting the pace. And this commitment to staying ahead of the curve is a big reason why they consistently produce some of the most sought-after cars globally. Wow. Number 9. A highway system with no speed limits. <laughs> Picture this. The open road stretching out before you, the wind tousling your hair, and the freedom to hit the accelerator without any speed limits holding you back. Mm. Now, if that sounds like a dream come true, 
Germany's Autobahn is the place to be. Autobahn. You see approximately 65% of Germany's highways make up the famous Autobahn system. It's a network of roads that's not only efficient, but also known for its unique feature, the absence of general speed restrictions. Now don't get too carried away with the idea of pushing your pedal to the metal indefinitely. <laughs> Contrary to the popular belief that the Autobahn is a speed demon's paradise, excessive and dangerous speeds can indeed get you into trouble. The German authorities take safety seriously, and they're not shy about pulling over those who choose to treat the Autobahn like a racetrack. Despite what some might believe, not every stretch of the Autobahn is without speed limits. Construction zones, urban areas, and other specific sections do have speed restrictions in place. So it's not a free for all everywhere, wow. but when you hit those unrestricted zones, it's an experience like no other. <laughs> Number 10, a land of inventions. We all know Germany for its rich history, stunning landscapes, and of course its sausages. But did you know that this European powerhouse has been the birthplace of some game-changing inventions that have shaped our modern world? Let's take a look at a few mind-blowing creations that originated right here in Germany. First up on our list are X-rays. The ability to peek inside our bodies without invasive procedures was revolutionized by German physicist Wilhelm Röntgen in 1895. Next, we have diesel engines. Ever wondered what powers those mighty machines, ships, and even some cars? Thank Rudolf Diesel, a German inventor, Rudolf. for introducing the world to these efficient and powerful engines. Zooming in, literally, let's talk about electron microscopes. The ability to see objects at the tiniest scale wow. was made possible by German engineers Ernst Ruska and Max Knoll in the 1930s. Their invention opened up a whole new world of understanding the microcosmos, and it's still a crucial tool in scientific research today. Who doesn't love their favorite tunes? Well, you can thank German engineers for the MP3 format. Karl-Heinz Brandenburg and his team developed the technology that revolutionized the music industry, wow. allowing us to carry thousands of songs in our pockets. <laughs> the magnetic tape recorder, a cornerstone in audio recording technology, was brought to life by German engineer Fritz Fleumer. From music to voice recordings, Germany played a significant role in shaping how we capture and replay sounds. Number 11, free education for all. Education can be a hefty investment, but not in Germany. In this country, not only do locals enjoy tuition-free education, but international students are also welcomed with open arms and wallets. Wow. Germany's commitment to accessible education is deeply rooted in its culture. Public universities in Germany receive significant funding from the government, wow. allowing them to offer tuition-free education. This means students can focus on learning without the burden of crushing student loans. Number 12. Beer is sacred in the state of Bavaria. You may have heard that Germans love their beer, but in Bavaria, it takes on a whole new level of significance. <laughs> Believe it or not, beer is not just a drink here. It's considered a food. Imagine telling your doctor, I'm just having a hearty meal of beer tonight. In Bavaria, beer is so ingrained in the culture that it seeps into every aspect of life. It's not just for the weekends or special occasions, it's a daily companion. Mm. On average, an impressive 150 liters of beer are consumed per person annually in Bavaria. That's like swimming in a pool of golden goodness. <laughs> and here's a fun fact for you. About half of Germany's breweries are nestled right here in this charming region. And let's not forget about Oktoberfest, the world's largest Volksfest, beer festival. It's an explosion of beer, pretzels, and traditional Bavarian music attracting millions of visitors from around the globe. This commitment to quality has made Bavaria synonymous with exceptional beer worldwide. So next time you're sipping on a Bavarian brew, remember, you're not just having a drink, you're partaking in a centuries old tradition. And there you have it, folks. The surprising and delightful fact that in the state of Bavaria, beer is truly sacred. If you enjoyed learning about this unique aspect of German culture, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe for more intriguing facts, and as they say in Bavaria, Prost! Until next time, cheers! Prost! Until next time, no. <laughs> yeah, I'm so sorry for the whole setup now, my ring light battery died. You guys, this is actually very fascinating to watch. 
And I know, yeah, I have actually researched this a video I did, and I had Bavaria and Bavaria, and they were actually talking about them. So I did my research on them, and Bavaria is actually one of the biggest states in um, Germany. It feels like a, a country on its own entirely, but yeah, they actually love beer a lot. <laughs> but the fun fact and the true fact about Germany is just so mind blowing. Like, they are really innovative and very intelligent and, I don't know, they are just so blessed. Like, really, really, really blessed. That's all I can say. This video was very helpful and very fascinating for me and I did enjoy watching this video. And yeah, guys, right now in my country, the weather is very hot. I think you might have seen this. I've been blowing myself to, you know, to feel and chill. The weather is hot. There's no light and <laughs> that's pathetic i know <laughs> and looking at other people country like this is oh don't want to think about it let me know what you think about this video in the comment section please do not forget to like subscribe to the channel and i'll see you guys on my next one bye guys